Have you received any vaccination against COVID? I have not. Why? I understand that uh, and support fully uh, the freedom to choose, you know, whether you want to get vaccinated or not. And uh, I have not uh, spoken about this before and I have not disclosed my medical record uh, and my vaccination status because uh, I, I had the right to keep that private and discreet. But as I see, there's a lot of uh, wrong conclusions and assumptions out there. I think it's important to speak up about that um, and, and, and justify certain things, right? So I, um, I was never against uh, uh, vaccination. I understand that globally everyone is trying to put a big effort into handling this virus and, and seeing a, hopefully a, 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 an end soon to this virus. And vaccination is probably the biggest effort that was made. Probably half of the planet was, was vaccinated. And I fully respect that. But I've always uh, represented and, and always supported uh, the freedom to choose what you put into your body. And for me, that is essential. It's really the principle of, of understanding what is right and what is wrong for you. And me as an elite professional athlete, I've always carefully reviewed, assessed everything that comes in from the supplements, food, the water that I drink or sports drinks, anything really that comes into my body as a fuel. Based on all the informations that I got, uh, I, I decided not to take the vaccine uh, as of today. So do you have as of today? Yes. I keep my mind open because we are all, we are all trying to find collectively uh, a best possible solution to end COVID, right? I mean, no one really wants to be in this kind of situation that we've been in collectively for, for two years. I'm part of the a sport, a very global sport that is played every single week in a different location. So, you know, I understand the consequences of my decision. And one of the consequences of my decision was not going to Australia and I was prepared not to go. And I understand that not being vaccinated today, I, you know, I'm unable to travel to most of the tournaments at the moment. And, and that's the price you're willing to pay? I, that, that is the price that I'm willing to pay. Ultimately, are you prepared to forego the chance to be the greatest player that ever picked up a racket, statistically, because you feel so strongly about this jab? Yes. I do. But as things stand, if this means that you miss the French Open, is that a price you'd be willing to pay? Yes, that is the price that I'm willing to pay. And if it means that you miss Wimbledon this year, again, that's a price you're willing to pay? Yes. Why, Novak? Why? Why? Do you... Because the principles of uh, decision-making on my body uh, are more important than any title or anything else. I I'm. I'm trying to be in tune with my body um, as much as I possibly can. What do you say directly to anti-vaccination campaigners around the world who proudly declare Novak Djokovic is one of us? <laughs> I say that everyone has the right to, to choose to act or say whatever they feel is appropriate for them. And I have never said that I'm part of that movement. You know, no one in the whole process during uh, Australian saga has asked me on my stance or my opinion on vaccination. No one. So I could not really express, you know, what I feel and where my stance is, neither in the legal process, neither outside. So I, it's, it's really unfortunate that there has been this kind of misconception and wrong conclusion that has been made uh, around the world uh, based, based upon you know, something that I completely disagree with.